teachers from Cherry Hill High School West. It's all about the dubs in Camden County, New Jersey. Hey, they just entered the classroom. That's right, check it out. The crowd is here and juiced up because we have $500 on the line and bragging rights. Before we even meet our contestants, I have to see who studied, so we're going for a pop quiz. Okay, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in, is gonna have a chance to steal. I see you kind of popping a little bit, Jack. You got a little bounce I'm in your excited. step. I'm excited, let's you're, go. You're allowed to be, let's play this game. Here we go, guys. Bastille Day celebrates a revolution that took place in what country? Mrs. Ceviche. France. France is right. What do we call the highest point of a wave? Mrs. Ceviche again. The crest. The crest is right. What does Shakespeare's Julius Caesar take place? Excuse me, where? Mr. Cibarella. In Rome. Rome is right. Students, let's get you guys to break the ice here. In the Star Wars movie franchise, what are the names of the twins who are separated at birth to keep them safe from Darth Vader, Mrs. Ceviche? Luke and Leia. You are on fire, Mrs. Ceviche. Here you go, extra credit. Students, we can cut the lead in half right here. Santiago is the capital of what South American country? Mr. Cibarella. Chile. Chile is right, nicely done. Getting you guys up to 60 points already. What is the name of Nintendo's fictional gorilla who was Mario's nemesis and starred in his own series of games. Mr. DeSico. Donkey Kong. Joining the party over on the teacher side right now. Knots and Crosses is an alternative name for which classic three word game? Jack. Tic Tac Toe. How about it, Jack? Oh, yeah. Hey, here it goes. <laughs> the Treaty of Ghent ended what war? Mr. DeSico. War of 1812. There it is. What type of organism has identical pairs of genes for a specific trait? Buzzers stay silent, guys. We were looking for a homozygote there. Mm -hmm. How many straight edges does a cube have? Jack. Nine. Sorry, Jack. Teachers for the steal. Mr. DeSico. Four. We were looking for 12, guys. That cube, that ever illustrious cube right there is 12 sides. Hey, how about that for Pop Quiz? Teachers, I can feel the heat from here because you guys were just on fire. Hey, we got a big game ahead of us because the students make their comeback right now today. They're from Cherry Hill High School West in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Home of the Lions. Okay. Let's meet some of these Lions who are out on the prowl today. Jack, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Team captain today. Of course. How'd you get up, uh, how'd you get to this spot? Uh, I... Do not know. I won rock, paper, scissors, and yeah. now I'm here. <laughs> That's all a captain ever had to do. Boom. What'd you throw? We have to know. Rock, obviously. There it is. Always obviously. rock. Always rock. He's an 11th grader, guys, and he knows what to do with 500. Where's it going? It's going to a fellow swimmer on the swim team, Matt Stankus. He got cancer, and so now we're playing for him. This Perfect place you, to Matt. put the... All right, Stankus, hopefully we can get that money for you. Let's do this. Team oh, captain. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Olivia, 12th grader. I'm going to say she's got two things. She's got beauty, and she's got a little beast to her. Tell me what that's about. Um, I'm a cheerleader, but I'm also a wrestler. That's awesome. How did you get into the wrestling side of things? The coaches actually came up to me and asked if I wanted to do it, and I said, why not? So All right, so every it. wrestler has a signature move. What's yours? Oh, I'm more of like a half Nelson girl myself. Yeah. Because it's always you can do the power half and flip them over, so I mean, it's the move for me. Me and Jack are just like, yeah, yeah. 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 us, yeah. us yeah. too. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're more full Nelson. Yeah. All right, Javion, good to see you, 11th grader. And I, I love your story because you're a volleyball player. You got the sports going for you. But guys, he is also and was also the lead in the play this year, the, the musical. Yes, Newsies. That's crazy. How did you feel about it this year? Um, It was definitely a learning experience. It was so much fun. I want to thank Miss Messias for oh, encouraging me to do it. Huge shout out to Messias. <laughs> yeah, yeah, She's yeah, at home going, know. yes, yeah, Jamie. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Well, listen, you're only down 70 points. I've seen a much bigger comeback, and we got a whole game ahead of us. So let's do it. How about it, guys? Come oh, on. Yeah. Woo! All right. 
Here's his teachers. They're here to play. Apparently, they were here at the start of the game because you guys came out on fire. Mrs. Ceviche, $500. Where's that going to go if you win it? It's going to go to the school library for media funds. Awesome, right? That's a perfect place to put it. And then you have a, a counselor role right now. You used yes. to be an English teacher. Yes. So you're molding the young minds, helping share that future. Try. And she's all about sharing because you have a special birthday partner. Who is that? I do. I share a birthday with my oldest child, Tessa. I had a baby on my birthday. That's so crazy. Kind of unique. Yes. So do you either, you either want to two things. We either love that or you're one of those people who on their birthday want that that to be about. Oh no, I love it because I'm way too old for like a bouncy house, but she's not. So yes! I can still celebrate. Oh okay, can I come to the next party, <laughs> sure, please? Sure. I love a good bouncy house. Speaking of guy who loves bouncy houses, how about Mr. DeSico <laughs> here today? Absolutely. History teacher, and guys, you're gonna love this. He's a celebrity. Now and you say one line and I guarantee everybody will know what that is. Hey, I have an ice cream. That's right, he's the fudgy wudgy guy at the beach, the deliverer of all things summertime, right? Kids love me, parents hate me. Yeah. <laughs> That's where all my money went. DeSico's yep. got it. Yep. Uh, Mr. Chivarello, good to see you. History teacher, you're a busy man. I am a busy man. I try and you know keep busy as possible. Uh, I recently completed seeing every uh, Major League Baseball stadium in the country. That's so incredible. I've seen, you know, I've seen a home game for every team. Best home game experience. Uh, I mean, you, I'm partial to Philadelphia. I was going to say, come on, say, the Phillies. San Diego, they have the most amazing stadium. Uh, awesome. Phillies are great. But Guys, same, listen, you know. I like you three. I like those three as well. But this game continues on. We're going to detention right now. Okay, guys, put your buzzers down. Put them down. You're not going to need them here. This is how detention works. We're going to start with the trailing team. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to pass, if you want to choose, and play. If you choose to play, answer the question correctly. This is the great part. You can send any member of the other side to detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. You pass, they have to answer the question. You get everybody into detention, boom. 40 points gets right onto your score. Guys, you can cut this to 50 points late here. So this is a big one for you, and this is where we start as well. So how about it? Category is history. We gotta play. We're gonna play. play. We're gonna play. What was the name of the British ship that left New York for Liverpool in May 1915, but was torpedoed by a German U-boat, killing more than 1,000 people. Our history teachers over here are just being like, come on, guys. We need an answer. We're go the Louisiana. You were close. It's the Lu Lucy. Excuse me. Now I can't. The Lusitania. That's a fun word to say. You were so close. I wanted to say Louisiana with you. But sorry, guys, that's not going to get that done. Teachers, who's going to detention? Olivia. 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 Olivia out of the game, and our first one into detention. You got to relax the jaw when you say that. Lusitania. As we move over here to our category of science. Pass. We'll pass. 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 <laughs> Says the history teachers, back to you guys again. Jack, Javion, let's see if you can get it. What are the two hollow bottom chambers of the heart called? And apparently Olivia knew it because she's going, no! Do you know it? What is it? The left and right valve. The. All right, we're going to go with the left and right valve. <laughs> nice guess again. The ventricles was right there. Oh, Olivia, you knew that one? Yeah. She's saying from detention. Well, guys, that was a great call to send Olivia there. Now you have to do it again. Who's it going to be? We're going to send Jack. Jack, <laughs> team captain, going to detention. Javion, this is all you, man. How's how you feel? Last guy in the mix? I got this. All right. I got this. Well, here we go. The category stays with you as well. So let's see how well you do here. Geometry. Pass or play? Play. In geometry, what is the term for the two sides of a right triangle that form the right angle? Can you restate the question? In geometry, what is the term for the two sides of the right triangle that form the right angle? A right triangle? <laughs> we were looking for legs, and I hate to do this to you, Javion, but your back was against the wall. You couldn't get it done. You, sir, are going to detention. Take the walk, and I'm going to take the walk over here because teachers commanding 120 to 10 lead. Man, listen, some of our contestants, they need that study hall, and that's where we're going when we come back. So we'll see you right after the break.
Don't look. Just don't look and we'll be fine. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Cherry Hill High School West in Canman County. They're going head to head. Teachers, slight lead on the board over top of the students. But guys, I'm feeling the vibes. You guys, they were bouncing around during commercial break. They're like, we got this. I believe in you, so let's get that game started for you. As the comeback begins, hey, anybody can win this thing. You guys know what's next. We're putting the books away, and we're headed to study hall. All right, team, see how the game works. Each one is going to select an opposite player to enter study hall. Those two players are going to have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm going to ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Each player will have five seconds to write down their answers to each question on a chalkboard. When time is up, you reveal your answers. Each correct answer is going to get you 10 points. Students, we crawl right back into it. 10 points at a time. You have five seconds to chat and decide who's going into detention. Excuse me, who's going into study hall? Yeah, yeah. Okay, teachers, we start with you. We're going to send Jack to study hall. Jack, you look surprised. You're like, oh no, but you get to fight. You get to pick who you're going to face. Who's it going to be? We're going to pick. We want to pick Mr. DeSico. DeSico versus Jack in study hall, and it goes right now. Let's go, boys, outside. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, we're feeling the love from both sides here as you guys enter study hall. It's all about memorization here. You have 10 seconds on the clock. There's a photo going to pop up right ahead. Good luck, everybody. Let's see that photo. Okay, picture down. That's a quick 10 seconds, am I right, Mr. D? Absolutely. All right, we'll see how you guys do. Question number one, five seconds, guys. How many red cars are in the photo? Let's see these answers, Mr. DeSico, you say. One. One car, Jack? One car. One car, the answer, one red car. Yeah, nice. both sides, okay. We're off to a good start here as we move into question number two. What color is the light for traffic going straight? Both sides starts writing. Let's see the answers. One says red. red. Jack, you say green. Green, the answer. Vroom, vroom, it's all about the green. Woo! Let's go. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And just like that, Jack, you're feeling that energy, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's we go. Got it. Here you go. Question number three, guys. Let's see how you do here. According to the sign, what is the number of the highway that is towards the left? Tough question, but they said, Mr. DeSico, you said? 90. 90. Jack said 95, the correct answer. 97, oh. you were so close, Jack, just right a little two off. Hey, how about it? They got up to 30 points, though. Teachers, 130. We're not done yet because study hall may be finished, guys, but I want you to grab your drumsticks. We're starting a band. We're going to music class next, followed by that all-important final exam. This classroom is still in session when we come back. Let's go. You got this, baby. Come back. Classroom. Today, students and teachers are here from Cherry Hill High School West in Canman County. I had to come out here and say hello to someone very special because this is, what's your name? Tessa. Tessa, and tell everybody who your mom is. I'm um, Miss Afici. So that's her, and do you share a birthday with her? I heard that's the deal. Yes. All right, so I have to ask because everyone's wondering, do you give your mom better presents or does your mom give you better presents? She gives me better presents. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly <laughs> what moms do, right? And you're just like, I just want presents. I get it. All right, you go to the school. Your name? Maddie. Are you a senior? Junior. So you know some of these teachers up here, Maddie. Yeah. I've, who's your favorite? I like them all, but I think the students are going to make the comeback. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right. I'm feeling that. I know they are, too. I told you, the energy for these guys has been incredible. The score, teachers, 130 on the board. Students, 30 there. But we're not done yet, guys, because we're tuned the, more, the music, the little music box right there. Give me a high E. Ah. <laughs> we're going to music class. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Newsflash, either of us can sing and we just found out right now. Grab your buzzers, today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm gonna ask a question related to a popular song, then from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, Mike Jarek will be in the house to read a small portion of the lyrics. Jack's over here going, yes, I'm so pumped for this. The first person to buzz in, correctly answer my questions, are gonna win 10 points for their team. You buzz in, you get it incorrect, the other team's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those rounds. We have three sets of lyrics today. How about that first question? Here you go. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2017 song? Mike Jarek's got it. Here you go. Richard. Students, teachers, I'm feeling a little uh, melancholy tonight, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll just say this is a wish you farewell. I hope you're somewhere praying. Mrs. Safici. Kesha. Is that Kesha? Yeah, there it is, 140. Cool. How about it, Safici strikes first, and teachers on the board, students over here, stunned. Javion, I can't believe it just happened. Here he goes, question number two, guys. What male performer sings these lyrics in a 2018 collaboration? Mike, good luck, pal, this is a tough one. I hope I can get through this one. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angel. Love your imperfections, every angle. She's on fire, Mrs. Safici, you say? Miguel. Sorry, as we go to the students, any guess on this side? Buzzer stays silent. The answer, Bozzy, beautiful. Everyone's like, what? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, come on, that many beautifuls in a word. Of course, it's going to be a part of the song title. Hey, guys, no points there. Students, climb within 100 right here. Here's your last one. What group performed these lyrics in a 2015 song? Mike Jarek, last one of the day. Make it your best one. Now, this last one's pretty simple. Straightforward. <clears throat> Baby, I'm worth it. Uh-huh. I'm worth it. First one in, Olivia. Mm, that's a group of five. Uh, oh, God. Oh, wow, Miss Safici. It's Fifth Harmony. That is exactly who it is. Oh, no. Olivia can't believe it. She dropped the ball when she needed the most. Teachers, 150, students, 30, and we head to the final exam. <laughs> All right, the topic of today's final exam, everybody, is Greek mythology, as two history teachers over here just did a fist pump to the heavens. I'm gonna ask both sides three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is gonna get them 100 points for their teams. They're gonna write down their answers during the commercial break. But first, my friends, we shall hear the questions. Here we go. Question number one of the final exam. Who is the Greek god of thunder and lightning who rules other gods from Mount Olympus? Question number two, Greek mythology. What Greek god is the father of demigod Percy Jackson in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series? Finally, what is the name of the maze that King Minos has built to hold the monstrous Minotaur? Okay, we know the questions. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock. There they are. They wanna come back, they want this win, and the students, well, the teachers are saying, no way, we got this one. Who's going to do it? I have no idea, but when we come back, we'll see if they can pull off that huge upset. Hey, guys, check it out. They might be here today. I want you tomorrow. Here's how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from Cherry Hill High School West going head to head. Teachers in the lead, 150 on the board, students 30. And you want to talk about a positive team, it's these three right here. Olivia, you guys have done well here in the second half. How are you feeling about this final exam? Oh, we're ready. Are you thinking, so like, let's say you make this miraculous comeback. How are we celebrating? 
We're giving the money to Matt. That's let's go. Hey. That's why we're here. Let's do this. Can they make the comeback? Well, let's get into the final exam and find out. We learned that the topic today is Greek mythology. All right, three questions on the board. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points for their final score. Let's see who aced this final exam and take that money back to their school. Here we go. Question one. Who is the Greek god of thunder and lightning? Who rules other gods from Mount Olympus? Okay, there's the question. Here we go. Javion, you need this to start the comeback. Zeus. Hey, Zeus. There Zeus. it is. There it is. 130. Okay. And just like that, you're back within the game here. Teachers, Mr. Shivarella. I also said Zeus. Yeah. Zeus. Okay, they fire right back. 250, 130, and the game continues on. Obviously, Mr. Shivarella, your history teacher, you know these guys really well. You said, I believe in them. We have two questions left. Do you still believe in them? Mm, I believe in our guys. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. We have 500 on the line, and we move to this. What Greek god is the father of demigod Percy Jackson in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series? Here's the question. We move over to our students. Olivia? Poseidon. Greek god Poseidon. OK. Here we go. This is where they build, because if the teachers get this wrong, you guys are magically right there within striking distance. Teachers, if you get this right, the game is officially over. You take home $500, and those bragging rights stay with you. What Greek god is the father of demigod Percy Jackson? You said. We also said Poseidon. Hey, guys, that $500, it's going to the teachers. What is the name of the maze that King Minus had built to hold the monsters minotaurs? The Labyrinth. Both sides had it correct. We had an awesome time today. I hope you guys did too. But teachers walk away the big winner. We'll see you next time right here in the classroom. Have the, I thought you had it. Thought you were